Did you had a... Yeah. All right, guys. It's Pen- Pentaholics Anonymous time yet again. And the question of the, uh, the, 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 what is the, our favorite pentatonics cover? This is excluding, like, the evolution of videos, but, you know, their covers, which is a the large majority of their songs, um, and the videos they have on YouTube. This is really tough for me. I'm, I'm still kind of torn <laughs> as I go into this. The ones that really, it was between, were... I love La La Latch, Rather Be, and Say Something. I mean, I love Little Drummer Boy, too. I was in there for a while, but I'm like, nah, that's more of a seasonal thing for me. Um, I'm not really as into that, obviously, throughout the rest of the year. Um, but man, this is so hard. I always said for the longest time, La La Latch. But then Say Something came out of nowhere. Uh, you can see my reaction to it on my channel, but... Even after that, I just fell in love with this song more and more. <sighs> Rather be, I feel like I don't listen to it as much, but I was in love with that as soon as I started listening to it. All right, so I think I'm just gonna go with the safe choice, and that's La La Latch. I feel like tomorrow my answer would be could be different. It's really those few are like so amazing to me. This this covers, I'm in love with them. But La La Latch gets it just gets me so happy every time I listen to it. <laughs> It's the same thing with rather be and say well say something doesn't really get me happy but I love Kirsty and say something I love her and rather be and she does have a good part in La La Latch notice the trend there that's why she's I said last episode yeah <laughs> um but La La Latch so good I I really just love how like they had Kirsty in the middle she was rocking it with the hat. In the video, as, as far as the video goes, at least, but the the song just always gets me so pumped and happy. Never. It's super creative mashup. At the same time, it's uh, just a lot of fun to listen to and really well done, really well done arrangement. But man, they can say that with so many covers. That's why it's like I couldn't fault anyone for like saying any of the covers of their favorite, really. Uh, but yeah, that's mine, guys. So, uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks for listening to what I have to say. Thanks. Hi, I'm Sam from House of Verbs. Um, favorite pentatonics cover is a really difficult question for me. Um, I first discovered PTX through their Sesame Street collab, of all things, and... Um, but it was their it was their evolution of music um, that really made me stick around and watch everything that they had ever posted. Um, my kids were instantly addicted to Daft Punk. We probably watched the Boo Eyes video about a thousand times in that first month alone. <clears throat> um, I really like their Radioactive cover with Lindsey Stirling. La La Latch is fabulous. Silent Night is just gorgeous, as is White Winter Hymnal. What? Um, Papa Ute, props for doing that so well and so comprehensively. Um, Winter Wonderland, Don't Worry Be Happy with Tori Kelly is just gorgeous. I really liked Royals, it was really fun. Um, Carol of the Bells is probably the first video that I really went, wow, not only are these guys really good, but they're just, they beautiful singers. Aha, whether it's um, their official video or Mitch slaying it in Singapore, somebody that I used to know is really good, any of their ev other evolution videos. Um, but the one that I keep going back to the most is, is probably Say Something. Um, I really like the original song, but I wasn't quite so fond of the video that Great Big World and Christina Aguilera did. Um, I really love Pentatonix's arrangement. I really love um, their video. I think it... it <laughs> Their like detached family portrait, I think, really captures the lyrics and the emotion behind of the song, which to me at least are are about a relationship that's falling apart due to neglect more than anything else. Um, I love how Kirsty just kills it and the amount of pain and sadness that she can bring out while she's belting those those lyrics is just 
really nice. Say something, I'm giving up on you. I love Kevin's beautiful cello accompaniment, um, as well as his, as always, excellent beatboxing and the way he closes out the song so nicely. I loved Avi's verse in the lead and his bass line. I love Scott and Mitch both harmonizing um, in the background vocals, and, and I love the way that they all um, reconstructed uh, the harmony in the breakdown in the middle of the song. It was just gorgeous. So yeah, it's just, it's beautiful and technically interesting. And that's, that's probably why it's still my favorite. Hey, I'm Camilla. So I find it very hard to pick a favorite Pentatonix cover, but I will have to go with the cover, which was the first song I really heard of them, which is Problem. Hey guys, and today I'm going to be singing Problem by Ariana Grande. And I just love that so much. I didn't love the original, and I don't even know how I found Pentatonix version of it, but I just love everything about it. I love how the video is made. I love Avi's voice, Sonny and Mitch rap, Kevin's beatbox, Kirsten's voice, Scott's voice, everything is just amazing and the way they melt together is just amazing. And after I watched that I couldn't stop watching the videos and I became a pentaholic after that. So I have to go with problems since it's the reason why I've been a pentaholic for one and a half year now. But I love all the covers, and so many of the covers are so much better than the original, in my opinion. But I'll have to go with Problem. Hello, I'm Jane. I'm in Puerto Rico, and I love pentatonics. I'm a pentaholic. My favorite all time is Carol of the Bells. I love classical music. I love Baroque music. I love polyphonic music. And this arrangement was what caught my attention first, even before I really watched the video. When I really watched the video, I noticed that that amazing lead voice was not coming from the girl. It was coming from whom I later came to know as Mitch. Then there was his angelic face combined and contrasted with Abby's deep bass and his kind of devilish look on cert at certain moments. Most of you fanaholics know which moments I'm talking about. Uh, at first I didn't even realize it was a cappella until once I focused on Kevin and figured out what those movements of his lips were, I thought, oh, there aren't any musical instruments. I just loved it. I loved that. I love it to this day. I watch it over and over and over. If you scroll down far enough, you'll find comments from Jane Translates. That's me. And in fact, pretty much any Pentatonix video, if you scroll down far enough, you'll find comments from Jane Translates. I'm a translator. And my name is Jane. So that's why I'm Jane Translates. Okay, I'm gonna make this quick and snappy because I'm balancing my camera onto something because I couldn't find my clip thing for my tripod so my camera may well just fall over and die. What is my favorite pentatonic cover? By far it is, shut up phone. It is Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies. Why? Because Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies is one of my favorite classical pieces of music of all time. And the fact that Pentatonix took the risk of attacking an orchestra piece. Yes, that is a piece for many, many different instruments. Deconstructed that, chose the parts that they needed, put it back together for five vocal parts and still made it sound epic, modern and full. Like, I mean, they so deserve that Grammy. Like, so deserved it. Um, again... With jokes aside, musically, they nailed it. Made a classical piece sound new, fresh. Um, and they want a Grammy for it. And I'm so happy for them because I feel like they're well and truly on the way of being recognized in the music industry as true artists and true musicians because... Welcome to the Blue Cross Blue Shield performance stage here at B96 Studios with Shelly, our besties. 
our our favorite group of all time. You guys have no idea how long we've been waiting to meet uh, the Pentatonics. Pentatonics. Oh, like you know, alert to the world. This is a musical instrument. It's probably one of the hardest musical instruments of the world because you can't see what you're playing. It's all internal, and they nail it. They're perfect. They're on point all the time, um, and they take care of their instrument so well. Um, and yeah, I just love vocals and they nail it. So that's my favorite cover by Pentatonix. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that answer, Zach, because <laughs> I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's my favorite. Uh, bye. <laughs> oh, did you